less than a week to go till Diablo 2 Resurrected releases, I wanted to go over my top 10 best rune words in the game. I want to say now, this is not a list of the top 10 most powerful rune words. There are some rune words that are quintessential when making a new character, and they deserve some love. I am also factoring in how difficult the rune word is to make, and how many different builds can use that rune word. With that disclaimer, let's get into it. The first rune word on my list has made multiple appearances on my other videos. The Stealth Armor Rune Word. Usable at level 17, while only requiring one Tal and one Eth rune to create, make it one of the first rune words everyone makes. The stats it provides for its level are insane. 25% faster cast rate, 25% faster run walk speed, 25% faster hit recovery, are useful in some way to every single class. The added 5 dexterity, mana regen, and poison resist are just some icing on the cake. <laughs> the next rune word on the list provides one of the biggest quality of life upgrades in the game. Essentially, infinite mana. Ral, Tur, Tal, Soul gets you the insight, which is not only an incredibly strong rune word, but it can also be made at level 27. Giving this weapon to your Act 2 mercenary gives the Meditation Aura to him and your character. Meditation provides a truly massive amount of mana regen, making mana potions essentially redundant. Add in 200 through 260% enhanced damage, attack rating, and even level 1 to level 6 critical strike skill, you have yourself one of the best support items in the entire game. <laughs> Coming in at number 8 is going to be the Exile for Paladin Shields. Putting Vex, Ohm, Ist, Dole into a Paladin Shield gets you arguably one of the best survivability items in the game. The reason it is so low on my list is because it can only be used by Paladins. This item will mainly be used by Smite Paladins who are farming uber bosses in Tristram. The 15% chance to cast Life Tap on striking makes it nearly impossible for monsters to kill you. Also giving up to level 16 Defiance Aura when equipped, 2 to Defensive Auras, 30 faster block rate, up to 260% enhanced defense, and a 5% increase to max fire and cold resists truly make it a tank of a shield. On top of all these bonuses from the rune word itself, you can also find paladin shields that inherently have up to 45 to all resists as a base. <laughs> One of the most expensive rune words to make the list is the last wish. Acquiring Jaw Mal Jaw Sir Jaw Burr is no easy task. The fact that this item is primarily also only used by Uber Smite Paladins is what puts it this low on the list. While 10% chance to cast Life Tap on striking, chance to cast Fade when struck, and level 17 Might Aura when equipped make it a good weapon, the 60 through 70% chance of crushing blow are what truly make it an uber boss slaying weapon. This weapon allows the smite paladin to easily achieve 100% chance of crushing blow. Crushing blow does damage equal to a percentage of the monster's current HP. Since uber bosses have around 650,000 HP, crushing blows will do more damage than anything else. <laughs> Tal, Thal, Ort, Am. Those simple early game runes get you the best caster shield in the game. 2 to all skills, 25 to 35% faster cast rate, 55% faster hit recovery, try resists, 22 to vitality, and up to 112 mana are an insane amount of useful attributes on the spirit shield. While the spirit rune word in a sword makes a great early game caster option, there are just way better weapon options for casters. Putting it in a paladin shield with base or resist puts it even further off the charts. <laughs> the beast is one of my absolute favorite items in the game. 
Burr Tur Um Mal Lum is not very expensive for this absolute beast of a weapon. Not only is beast amazing for both barbarian and summon necromancers, but it also allows for some really fun meme builds like the Bearzon, Bear Sorceress, and Wolf Barb by giving level 3 Werebear and Lycanthropy to any class. Level 9 Fanaticism Aura when equipped, 40% increased attack speed, 20% chance of crushing blow, and 25% chance of open wounds round out an incredibly strong weapon. <laughs> it is hard to believe this next rune word only requires F Tur Low Mal Ral. For a pretty low investment, you get the hardest hitting weapon for both melee and smite paladins. The Grief Rune Word is unique because it provides 340 to 400 raw damage. This is particularly powerful for smiters because the damage is applied to the shield. It is the equivalent of having over level 90 Holy Shield. Sadly, the damage of the Grief is bugged and does not show in the character screen. This is something I hope they fix for D2 Resurrected. While the Deadly Strike on the Rune Word is great for Barbarians and others, it does not work with Smite. <laughs> Starting off, our top three is the Heart of the Oak. Ko, Vex, Pol, Thol is a tiny investment for arguably the most versatile caster weapon in the game. Three to all skills, 40% increased cast rate, and 30 to 40 to all resists give a caster everything they could ever want. Add in Oak Sage charges for even more health stacking and you truly have a top tier item. <laughs> Our penultimate rune word is going to be the Call to Arms. This one should have been easy to see coming. Am, Ral, Mal, Ist, Ohm gets you the best buffing item in the game giving between 2 to 6 battle command, 1 to 6 battle orders, and 1 to 4 battle shout makes it a must-have item for every single class, aside from barbarian. One item giving 1 to all skills, sometimes more than 1,000 extra health, and then some extra defense put this rune word in a class of its own. Before we get to our final rune word, I wanted to give a few honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is the iconic Breath of the Dying. While this weapon is still amazing, it has sadly been outclassed by the grief rune word. Another amazing rune word that just barely did not make the cut is the Chains of Honor. There are two reasons that the Chains of Honor did not make the cut. First is that it is really only used by sorceresses. Second, the number one spot on this list exists. With that, let's get to number one. <laughs> Jaw, Ith, Burr. Anyone who has played Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction knows this rune word by heart. Heck, people have even gotten these runes tattooed on them. Of course, I am talking about the Enigma. This rune word is on a tier of its own. Giving every single class access to teleport would make this item top tier on its own. Adding on to it two to all skills, 45% faster run walk, tons of strength, tons of magic find, and even 8% damage reduction, and you have an SSS tier rune word. Are there any rune words you think should have made the list? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. It is the easiest way to support the channel and be notified when new videos are posted. I will also be doing a 24 hour stream on the 23rd for the release of Diablo 2 Resurrected over at twitch.tv forward slash the Duke of TVC. See you guys in the next video.